Hi Aquarius, it's Jay from Angels and Ancestors. Welcome to the channels, lovelies. This reading is going to cover more days because I need to switch up the day that I'm publishing videos on to a Sunday because of my studies. Um, so we're going to do a reading from the 1st to the 9th and then the next reading will go up on Sunday the 8th and that will be from the 9th through to the following Sunday so it's kind yeah I'm doing a couple of extra days and I know I'm probably overlapping but I'm kind of feeling that I don't want to miss any days for you guys so here it comes up after the intro Aquarius, welcome to your What the Fuck reading for the 1st of the 9th of February 2020. And we're going to ask the cards if we can have a current situation for Aquarius, please. reading 1st to the 9th of February 2020 there's two come out lovelies I don't normally do that do I? I normally only take one but let's see where it takes us so your second card the first aspect facing your fears and taking the fucking power back let's see thank you Oh, very nice, Aquarius. So the third aspect, fuck, second, oh, sorry, second aspect, fuck. Um, what you've been manifesting, your wish fulfillment, and why this may be fucked. Can I have a manifestation and a wish fulfillment? Oh, thank you. Oh, Aquarius, look at that. This is supposed to be a what the fuck reading, not as in the other what the fuck. It's supposed to be like, yeah, but this, this so far, my lovelies, is looking good. I don't know, I can't remember what's behind that other card, but it will tell us a story. So, number four is your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be, Aquarius, for the 1st to the 9th of February. Oh, really? Aquarius, what on earth? What's going on with you guys? Wow. Okay, so your next one, what the fuck you can do about the situation? I don't think you want to do anything about this situation, lovelies. So what can it, Aquarius do about this situation? Just to let you know, lovelies, this is a general reading. I'll tell you what you can, leave the rest. It can be something that's already happened, something's going to happen in the future. Something that's happening now. Oh, Aquarius. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, something that could be happening now. It could be happening around you rather than di directly involving you. If that's the case, please let the people know um, where our channel is. If, they, if you think they need the um, reading. This is what you can't do about the situation. What the fuck is out of your hands? And then don't give a fuck connecting to the true you, Aquarius. So yeah, going back to it being a general reading, lovelies. Um, and that one, my darling, is your outcome. Um, so yeah, 
the general readings, they don't fit everybody all the time. You may just pick out little bits and pieces that are relevant to you. Um, and don't forget, if you do like it, like, share and subscribe for me. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button down below. Um, and that will let you know when I'm uh, putting up new um, videos. So lovelies, let's start your reading, your current situation. What the fuck started at, what, ha, what started the what the fuck. And you've got the wheel of the year just behind the five of wands. Now, the five of wands in this deck is the coming together of people to work together for the same um, issue, problem, good issue, bad issue, it doesn't matter, but people have come together to work on this. And if you look in the shadows, there's also spirits in the shadows that have come in to work on this collectively. And I know that other decks say it's conflict, but I never get that with this card, and I'm not getting it this time that this is conflict. I'm kind of getting that you are coming together collectively for the better good of whatever this issue is. It's an issue that you share. It's a problem that you share and you're coming together to deal with this together. Now behind that, behind it, which means that it's, it's in shadow, is the Wheel of the Year, lovelies. Now, the Wheel of the Year would normally tell you that you're on the right path, you're doing the right thing. But what I'm going to say to you with the Wheel of the Year is don't spin this one. Don't spin it and don't use it like a roulette wheel and take your chances. Use it for what it's for. Tread carefully with it and it will bring up all the good stuff that you want. It will throw up throughout the year the stuff that you want when you need it. It is divine timing. It is like... It will come round when it needs to come round. So don't, although you're working on it, try not to push the issue on if it's not ready. Whatever this is, it could be a project, it could be a partnership, it doesn't matter. But it just let it unfold naturally. Use your divine timing. Okay. So, your first aspect facing your fears and taking the fucking power back around this okay yeah i kind of get that you've got the crone now the crone has walked this path she's got wisdom she's got knowledge she's got the lion beside her she's tamed the lion and he offers her protection and she offers him company knowledge and wisdom and all the rest of it you are standing currently very strongly in your power, Aquarius. You really are standing. You ain't got to take your power back because you've got it. You're standing in your power. You know where you are. You know what you're doing. You know where you're heading. And then this one is your second aspect. What you've been manifesting, your wish fulfillment, and why this may be. In fact, we've got a new beginning, darlings. You have got a new beginning, this is the Ace of Pentacles. When I see the Ace of Pentacles, I think of everything that is financial. So it's house, it's car, it's job, it's business. All of those sort of things that is financially based. So this new beginning, this wish fulfillment, could be that you want to move. It could be that you want to move jobs or move up in a job or start your own business or a combination of of all of those together but you are massively standing in your power coming together with other people to work towards a common goal just let it evolve very naturally over the year you don't need to get get your power back you've got it lovelies and if you don't feel like you have go and stand in front of a mirror and ask yourself the last time you had an argument did you lose it Go figure, Aquarius. But this, this new beginning, my darling, I don't say that this is fucked apart from yourself. And the reason I'm saying that is your journey card, your, um, your movement card, where the fuck you need to be, you've got the S card, you've got the sun card, 
everything in the garden is coming up roses, everything's sunny, everything's warm. This is a summer card, this is the feel good factor. And the only issue I get out of the whole reading, Aquarius, is what the fuck you can do about the situation. When I laid this down, I thought, you bunch of pillocks, you are, this is the five of pentacles. This is about freezing out. And what you can do about the situation, Aquarius, is don't do this to yourself. Don't freeze yourself out of this situation. Do not get into your headspace and start thinking about things too deeply. You need to just go with the moment and have the leap of faith that this is going to be okay. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting on that bench, freezing bloody cold, wondering what the fuck's happened. Don't do it to yourself. You, I'm kind of getting the feeling that this is what you do. You kind of, you kind of go off and sulk a bit. Um, and you freeze yourself out from a situation, don't do that to yourself. That's the only negative that's in the reading. And I'm not getting that other people are freezing you out. This is what you can do about the situation. Stop doing it to yourself. Stop freezing yourself out. Stop going off sulking. Look at what you've got rather than what you haven't got. You've got five pentacles behind your head. You've got that warm fire with the standing stones for protection behind you. Lovelies, you've, you've got a really good reading here. But what the fuck, Aquarius? This is what you do. You freeze yourself out. And what he's saying is what you can do about this situation is don't do that. Don't get the cob on. Don't fucking strop out. Don't go and sit on a cold bench in the snow uh, because there's a warm fire there for you and these people are working really hard with you. Now, what you can't do about the situation, what is out of your hands currently is the Seven of Wands. Now, this is aiming high for a choice. You have all those ones to choose from and you're choosing one that's a little bit higher than the others and it's reaching and attaining that choice um, and you can't do anything about that at the moment this is something that you are going to have to go through you're going to have to experience and it's kind of like one of those life's lessons um, I see this card and I panic because what I see is that woman falling off that bloody stall um, but I don't see you falling anywhere I see you picking the wand and actually going through this life's lesson because you've got no choice in that life's lesson that is coming your way so don't give a fuck reconnecting with the true you darling you've got this you've got two sevens one on top of each other you got the seven of chalices this again is choices and that woman in that picture she's going oh fuck, really because people are whispering. If you look at the little fairies, they're whispering. There's little titters going on. Have that one. Have this one. Do this. Do that. No, no, no. No. They're your cups. You choose which one you want. You choose the chalice. You choose one that's full if you want. You choose one that you have to fill up yourself if you want. But it's your choice at the end of the day. So the reconnecting to the true you is standing this power and make those decisions for yourself. There's no problem with listening to advice. There is a massive problem listening to gossips and tittle tacklers about what doesn't concern them. They're your cups and chalices. They are, don't belong to anybody else. So you need to reconnect to the true you by making those choices and having those life lessons just for you without interference so Aquarius the outcome my darlings you've got the nine of chalices honestly I know this is a what the fuck reading but I think it's just to tell you not to freeze yourself out it's just to tell you don't fucking drop out because you've got this coming this is a wish fulfillment how many wish fulfillments does one person want in one reading darling you've got your crystal ball you know what's coming you've got good intuition Aquarius you really have 
This is the Nine of Cups. It's nearly a completion. The Nine is lovely because it means you've filled all those cups up beautifully with whatever you filled them up with. And now you're sitting there and you're feeling really good about the situation. And that's what's coming towards you. That's the outcome of this what the fuck reading. But the only negative, the only real what the fuck is this one. Aquarius, what the fuck do you do? What, what on earth do you do to make yourself feel like that? Don't do it. And that's what the re I think the reading is about. It's to tell you, don't freeze yourself out. Don't do it to yourself. It's bad enough when other people do it, but to go and get the strop and to do it to yourself and shut yourself off from all this good stuff and that good stuff, that's just ludicrous. So Aquarius, there you go, my darlings. That's your what the fuck reading from the 1st to the 9th of February. And next week, the readings will go up on the 8th, ready for the 9th. And I will catch you then. Blessed be. Bye for now.